Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the front bumper cover on this 2003 Honda Civic. Pretty much the same procedure for any 2001 to 2005 Civic. Um, you need to remove the bumper cover to make repairs, sometimes to the headlights or sometimes to the windshield washer system, as well as possibly your radiator and AC core. Tools you'll need to get it off, flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and an 8mm socket with a ratchet or wrench. Um, if you have issues, you may also need pliers and a hammer. Uh, to, get a, to get one off, you shouldn't need the pliers and hammer, but a lot of times the clips underneath are a little difficult to get out. Start in the front and remove four clips. And what you do is just pry up on a center clip here, and then do it from a couple different angles. Once you get that up, the center pulls out and then the clip pulls out. And I'll just speed up the film here as I just take those last two clips out. Okay, up underneath is the same thing. My vehicle does have a couple of Phillips screws here, but I don't think these are original. So they need to be Phillips screws or some other type of fastener. One on each side. Okay. And then there are clips just like the top side. These are usually a little more difficult because they usually have all kinds of sand lodged in them. And I'm actually just going to speed it up here. Uh, like I said, these they're the same thing you do on the top. You pull the center of the clip out and then pull the uh, clip itself out. Um, but again, on the bottom, they get all kinds of sand lodged into them. And you'll see me kind of fighting with them and even use a hammer. Um, basically, what you can do is once, uh, you'll probably get two or three of them out. Um, but the other ones, you might break the... Uh, edges of the center off. If you end up breaking them off then you can use a hammer and a screwdriver and actually just um, push the center right through. You won't be able to reuse the clip uh, but at least you can get it out. And generally if you have um, two or three clips for the bottom uh, you can put them back together. Obviously it's always best to use the number of clips that the factory provided um, and you can actually buy. Usually a hardware store has um, these clips in stock, you just have to look through their hardware um, and they have a, a similar type of clip and they're usually only a few cents each. On each side there's an 8mm bolt right up here over the front wheel. Okay, now I'm taking out on the side. Okay. On the side. So out from the headlight. And the whole fascia comes right out. Okay. Just make sure you can feed it. Headlights. Okay, I've got a couple of my clips up here. Make sure it's underneath. Let's go underneath here. Handle there.
inner fenders inside fascia. I'm just going to kind of fast forward here as I put uh, three of the clips back in the bottom and also reinstall the two Phillips screws uh, that hold the cover to the uh, inner fenders at the corners. And keep that speed and momentum going as I reinstall the two 8mm bolts uh, that hold each corner of the bumper cover up over the front wheels. There it is all back together, and we did add a new set of headlights, which really makes it pop. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.